This is Mahmoud Hassan Meraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of Solidox. Today we will going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view. So first of all, I will start drawing from the top plane. In the top plane, I will draw a rectangle. And this rectangle it has a dimension of 60 by 33 plus 33 unit. So this half dimension is 33 unit, the total dimension will be 33 plus 33 unit. After doing this rectangle, I will then to proceed to 17, 70 unit. Then I will to proceed to 70 unit. Okay. So let's start. So I am selecting the top plane. Now sketch. Now select the center rectangle. Place the center rectangle here. And now dimension it to 33 multiply by 2 because this is the radius uh, of the semicircle okay and the other dimension is 60 unit now isometric it for a better view now go to features and now it should boss now it should boss it to 70 unit reverse the direction now press ok now in here we can see then we will draw this portion okay for drawing this portion uh, first of all, I will draw a center line and this center line has a dimension of 144 unit and from this center line, I will use the offset entities to offset this other two line. After offsetting other two line, I will then close the shape. Okay. After closing the shape, uh, we can see we have four circles here that are a straight cut circle. For drawing this Stuttgart cycle, first of all, I will draw this Stuttgart cycle. And here all the circle are has a dimension of 12 diameter. So after drawing this Stuttgart cycle, you can see that this Stuttgart cycle uh, has a distance uh, from this midline. It has a distance of 30 divided by 2 in it. Okay. And from this midline, it has a distance of 106 divided by 2 unit. Then I will use the linear sketch pattern. To draw this another circle which that has a distance of 30 unit from here then I'll draw a center line here and then I will mirror this other two circle then I'll extrude to boss it I will then extrude to boss it to 13 unit okay let's see uh, selecting this face now sketch now normal to it after that select the center line place the center line here and this distance will be 144 divided by 2 unit okay now again select the center line and draw opposite line 144 divided by 2 unit so the total distance will be 144 unit now we need to offset this line so i'm selecting the offset entities now select this line and also select this line and the offset distance will be i can see from here the offset distance will be 48 divided by 2 unit. So half the distance will be 48 divided by 2 unit. Okay. So I am offsetting it to 48 divided by 2 unit. Make sure to select the bidirectional cap in and line. Now press OK. So after that we need to draw the circle. A cut circle. So a cut circle has a dimension of 12 diameter. So dimension it to 12 diameter. Now select this one dimension and this extra cycle uh, from this center line has a distance of 30 divided by 2 unit okay and this extra cycle also have a distance from this line uh, this distance is 106 divided by 2 unit okay now press ok now i will use the really uh, linear sketch pattern now select this cycle, the distance from this circle to this circle is 30 unit. Now press OK. Now again select the center line and draw a horizontal center line like here. OK. After doing this center line, now select the mirror entities and entities to mirror. We need to mirror these two circle. Mirror about uh, this center line. Now press OK. OK. Now isometric it for a better view. Now go to features. Now stood boss. Now stood boss it to 13 unit. Okay. Now press OK. So as we can see in our case, we have a semicircle here. 
and this semicircle has a radius of 33 radius so next we'll draw this and then I'll store it to 60 unit so let's see how it done so I am selecting this face now sketch now normal to it now select the circle place the circle here and draw a circle okay now press ok as we, it, it is a semicircle so I am selecting this line and now convert into this so you can see a middle line has been drawn okay now select the trim option and I am trimming this unnecessary line now press ok now I submit it for a better view now go to features now it should boss now it should boss it too you can manually dimension it but I, but I will select the uh, up to surface and I want to extrude boss it to up to this surface okay now press ok now I submit ticket for a better view now in our case we will draw this portion okay for drawing this portion we can see uh, here we have a semicircle semicircular face and this semicircular face has a diameter of 10 uh, 10 radius and the distance from this upper portion of this circle uh, to this bottom face is 123 unit so from the from this center line the distance will be 123 minus 10 unit okay after doing this circle i will draw two line uh, after doing this semicircle i will draw two line okay let me clear uh, first of all i will draw a circular face like here then i will dimension it to 123 uh, minus 10, 10 unit uh, from this center uh, from this center line then i will use the line tool to give it a complete shape after drawing that shape i we can see we have a inner stuttgart circle and this inner stuttgart circle has a 12 diameter okay we will also draw that then i'll stud boss we can see this portion has a stud boss of 10 unit here okay you can see the dimension the stud boss of 10 unit so let me demonstrate so i am going to rotate this face and select this back face now sketch now normal to it uh, now select the circle and place the circle along this line okay after drawing placing the circle it has a radius of 10 units so it will be uh, 10 multiplied by 2 20 diameter circle now select the small dimension and select this circle and this line as and total uh, this dimension this dimension will be 123 minus the radius okay so after that select the line tools and place here and draw a vertical line okay again select the line tool and point here and draw a another vertical line okay after drawing this line select the this this semicircle and now convert in it is now select the trim option and trim all the unnecessary part that we don't need okay we have draw we have a trim all the unnecessary part now press ok we can see we have a inner stuttgart circle and this inner stuttgart circle has a diameter of 12 unit so i'm doing a 12 unit diameter stuttgart circle now i symmetric it for a better view now press ok now go to features now is to boss now is to boss it to 10 unit okay is to bossing it to 10 unit now reverse the direction now press ok so it has been quite done okay now let's see our sketch in our sketch now we can see we have to uh, do this is cut portion for doing this is cut portion uh, i will draw a center line from here to here after doing this center line we can see the total distance is 26 unit okay uh, as the total distance 26 unit i'll i'll offset two line here and after offsetting this two line i'll close the shape after closing the shape i'll draw a semicircle here and dialogue then i will should cut this okay so i am selecting this face now sketch now normal to it now select the line and place the line to here and draw a vertical line as this isn't a, a center line so i am going to right click on mouse and select the construction geometry and make it a 
construction line or center line okay or whether you can select the center line as you want from here okay after that is done now select the offset entities now select this line and we can see the total distance is 26 unit the half the distance will be 26 divided by 2 unit okay now make sure to select the bidirectional capping line now press ok now select the circle and place the circle here and draw a circle after drawing this circle now select the smart dimension tools and trim all the necessary part that we don't need now press ok the red feature is showing that it has been ordered over dimension so i am deleting one of the dimension okay i have deleted one of the dim dimension now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features and now is to cut you can select to cut it to through all both or you can dimension it manually now press ok so where now we can see we have to draw this upper portion is to cut and this upper is to cut hole okay for drawing this uh, from this uh, top plane okay from this top plane i'll take a reference plane along here and this distance of the reference plane will be 33 minus this 4 unit okay so i i will be taking a reference class of 33 minus 4 unit from the top plane and from that uh, top plane i will draw a center rectangle okay a center rectangle that has a this distance of 26 unit and from this distance it has a 12 unit distance then i will extrude cut it after that then i will draw a extrude cut circle of 12 diameter then i will extrude cut it okay let me demonstrate uh, i am selecting the top plane here now select the reference now select the plane and uh, the top plane has been select uh, uh, first reference and the distance to here will be 33 the radius minus the extrude cut portion 4 unit okay it will be automatically 29 unit now press ok now select the plane now sketch now normal to it now select the center rectangle and place the center rectangle somehow here and draw a center rectangle like this one okay after doing this center rectangle select this one dimension option okay after now select this line and this line the distance of this two line will be 12 unit okay i have dimension it to 12 unit now it times for dimensioning this it this distance and now this distance will be 26 unit dimensioning it to 26 unit okay now i submit it for a better view now go to features now is to cut now is to cut it to this upper side okay now press ok so we can see we have gotten our shape now we can hide this plane okay now select this upper portion now sketch now normal to it now select now zoom it now select the circle and if you hover your mouse this middle point you can see a dotted line and also from this uh, center a dotted line will be appear and here click it and draw a circle of 12 diameter or otherwise you can dimension this circle manually if you want now isometric it for a better view now go to features now it should cut okay you can see this has been extra cutted uh, now press ok now isometric it for a better view now in our main case you can see we have a fillet here here and other two fillet here and here but we uh, we are not seeing the dimension of this fillet so i am assuming it this dimension will be 15 unit or you can assume as you want okay so i'm selecting this fillet maybe 15 unit so i'm dimensioning it to 15 unit now selecting this line and rotate and also select this line now make sure to select this other side also this line and this line now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view so as we can see we have done our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different